Uh, you know Mr. Jackson. Jackson. Jackson, 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 Jackson. Young man, if you don't behave. The name's Norman. Sir Norman. Jackson. Very well. To remind you, Sir Norman, you are due at the television studios for your appearance on Town Topics. That is not delay. We'll leave on the stroke of ten. <laughs> and dear Jackson, such efficiency. You really are hot stuff, any. Hey? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Stop, I'll pull me out. Lecture, lecture. For heaven's sake, I'll pull. I am pulling. Oh, Help. don't despair. Help. You'll be all right. No, well, here it is. You stay where you are. No, I'll climb up. Go on, stay there. I'm going to sit there. <laughs> now, how do I look? Uh, uh. Hello? Well, of course, this is Barrage's. Is it Barrage? The order for 5,000 linen dresses? Yeah. All oh, brown? 5,000 of them? Don't want brown, do we? Dirty colour. Make them pink, eh? Five thousand, all pink. That's it. Yeah. Oh, and uh, thank you to all. <laughs> I'd like to see the chief's face when five thousand pink dresses turn up. <laughs> I said pink. Oh, who? Freeman? Not here. No, I've never heard of him. No, I don't care if you are a cabinet minister. Oh, shove off, go on. <laughs> <laughs> you have a turn. Come on. <laughs> Never get another challenge, you know. Do you know who I am? Huh? I am Augustus Freeman. Oh, I'm Norman. Stop them. I'm going to get promoted. Going to be a window dresser. Chief sent for me. I am the new chief. <laughs> oh, you get your promotion quicker than I do, don't you? <laughs> Dress wise department. Freeman speaking. What are you going to do? You just had an order for 5,000 linen dresses pink. That's it. Go on. Cancel them. <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> <laughs> Here, that order for the dresses. Yeah, it's on again. Yeah, order. Cancel those dresses, Freeman speaking. <laughs> Put the order on again, you make. <laughs> Will you please cancel those 5,000 dresses pink? Freeman speaking. <laughs> make it 10,000. <laughs> no, no, 5,000. No, for heaven's sake, cancel them altogether, please. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have all you got now! You won't have any for the can catch them all! <laughs> Thank you. I need to say Mr. Grimdow's qualities go watched in the train. Lady Brinkley. And now, Mr. Truscott, regarding your salary. Well, now, Mr. Carew, on my last job, I got six pounds. Six pounds? Outrageous. Yeah, but I did a lot of hours and I worked hard. I shall pay you twenty. Twenty pounds? Mr. Carew, oh, thank you. There will, of course, be one or two deductions. Your singing lessons, for instance, say two pounds. Agreed? Agreed. Well, that's a singing lesson every day for six days. That makes 12 pounds. Yeah, but if I have to do that... But, my dear chap, you're still left with eight pounds clear. Less board and lodging, of course, which will be another six pounds. Agreed? That'll leave me with two pounds. Clear? Not clear, Truscott. You're forgetting about laundry, breakages... Oh. 
<laughs> there won't be any breakages. Just in case. Besides, there's insurance, income tax, all this will come to at least another three pounds. That leaves me owing you a pound. We must all face the facts. The more we earn, the less we have. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Come, come, children, we can't have two young ladies dancing together. Thank you, Major. Uh, no, no, I've already danced with you, Jeannie, if you don't mind. Come along, my dear. Please, in, in this country, the man always leads. <laughs> ah, my, you are a shy little flower, aren't you? Come along, look up. <laughs> oh, yes, come along, my dear, let me see you. Hmm, I knew it. What lovely eyes. <laughs> I bet all the boys are after you. I'm being chased all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> You're delightful, really. Oh, come along, enjoy yourself. This is a party. Sing with me. That's the way. Oh, Oh. oh no, you don't! Fine! 